check the hair. Good morning, YouTube. Yeah, I washed it last night. That's why it's not all awesome or anything. like. Because it doesn't, I don't know. Anyway, listen, listen, listen. My friend, you know, my, 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 my narcissist Christmas vacation friend, she's like, you know, it's, it's, it's so... It's so incredibly frustrating when um, you've realized that you're in a narcissistic family dynamic job deal and then people around you are, and you have been serving them hand and foot for 30, 40 years and you suddenly realize who they are and you start pinpointing them and removing them from your life. This is exactly what happens at that point. All the flying monkeys that believe that, you know, in this family dynamic, because it's been that way, it's always been that way. Like, what's, yeah, we know that person's difficult. It's just, that's your mom or whatever. They all start to say to you, it must be you with the main problem. You're the one with the lack of communication skills, lack of social skills, because you don't just cut people out of your life. That's your mom. What are you, and your ex-husband? You're not talking, What? You have children with it. You don't talk to this. How is that conducive to co-parenting? Let me tell you something. It is impossible to co-parent with a narcissist. One of these therapists on YouTube called it counter-parenting. That is exactly what they do the entire time until they die. So don't expect anything different. When you cut these people off, you are in the right. Every All the flying monkeys, how could you do that? You're just, you're the one with the problem. My friend's mother, motherfucking, texted her and said, You've lost your mind. You're the one with the problem. You won't talk to your husband, who you just left, and then you won't want to talk to me. You both need to get together, mom and ex-husband, and have a shit fest, whatever it is you all do. He hates your guts more than anything in the entire world. And you hate his, too. But you would love nothing more than to get together and sue your daughter and try to take the kids from her and all this shit. You would love nothing more. My ex, who terrorized me for years, literally went to my parents' house after I left him. He hated their guts, would not go to their house, would not visit them, went and spent the goddamn weekend with them and came back the morning of the... I saw him in the morning in the court because he had to have me in court constantly. fucking lay for nothing, in order to terrorize me and scare the fucking shitballs out of me. He knew that I would not tell him, the court, what was wrong with him because I was a Christian. I'm only supposed to speak words that are edifying. He took my religious beliefs and drugged me through the court system for four years until his mother said I'm not giving you another dime to do it. I guess that's what happened. First, she lied to me and said, I didn't give, you, I didn't give him money to sue you. You both bullshit. I can't found out 20 years later. Yes, in fact, she did. So, um, your narcissists in your life that hate each other will absolutely get together when you stop talking to them. Okay. They will get together to destroy you if they can. You, you don't let them. And this whole thing, it's you, it's you. You cut all these people off because you just don't have any skills and you just don't even, fuck you. Fuck every last one of you. My friend is doing what's right. She's still got a, mm, some people clinging turds, man, clinging to her butt hairs of life. I tell you what, get a bottle of holy water and wash them puppies off. Okay. Get them out of there. We need some free flowing water. A freaking rag ain't going to do it. Okay. We need some free flowing water and some emulsifying, so like the balm of Gilead, for instance, we need to get rid of these parasites. They're parasites. And then they tell you, how dare you cut us off? How dare you? How dare you have her children for Christmas and make them cry for an hour and a half? How dare you? And then tell her they have no... Con what? They got no respect for elders because they played a game longer, one game longer than the other. I'm sorry, you farkin' psycho, but take your no-job dude that frickin' handles my undies while I'm on vacation and... Why don't you go, I don't know, come up with something else to do? Stop inviting us down here to terrorize us and insult us and try to steal my children from me mentally and emotionally, even though we live at a great distance. Duh, ah, because that's what it was about. That's what it was about. She would, she couldn't wait to get her fucking nasty claws into her oldest child to turn his mind again. And she succeeded to a degree. We will see how much damage this bitch has done in coming months.
I'm hoping because my friend is a genius. <laughs> she doesn't think so, but she is. She is, so, in fact, she is so skilled at communicating, which is how they were able to abuse her this badly. Same thing with me. I am excellent. At, come to find out, I listen to myself. I'm like, oh, I make perfect sense. Everybody's like, you don't make any sense, Karen. You're just so stupid. Here. No, I'm not. My therapist and I sat there for seven years wondering what the fuck these people were talking about. I explained it to him and he's like, well, that makes perfect sense to me. Now, nobody claimed I wasn't overly emotional or falling apart emotionally. Nobody, I, we, I didn't ever claim that I wasn't falling apart emotionally. I was, but I was logically explaining myself. And they're going, no, you're not, no, you're not. Bullshit. And my friend's going through the same thing. We're logical. They are illogical. And because the children, the various people around you have been taught that their illogical fallacies are freaking fine or logical fallacies, whatever they're called, are, are just normal. It's a normal family dynamic. It is. If it is, you need to get the fuck out of it. Change your family dynamic. Stop allowing this shit to go on. Please, daughter of mine that has children, if you see this, everything in your power, I am telling you, do it. Whatever you got to do. I don't care. In your life, as you, because you're a mom, I'm talking to you not because I, I don't know anything particular about what's going on. You live a hundred some to hundreds of miles away from me. I have no idea what's going on in your everyday life, but I know because of your family dynamic that it is entirely possible that you could be falling into unintentional patterns and unintentional accepting behavior from people around you that you should not be accepting. So. Learn on, girl, and accept nothing but respect and peace in your household or from your friends that you choose if they make you feel, like, pressured to do something for them or ashamed or to believe something. or to Slowly work your way away from this particular person, okay? I'm just telling you. But for your kids, for your daughter, you have beautiful daughters for their sake and yours, Begin to identify the ones in your life that make, and you've done it. You cut that one off. You cut that next one off. I was like, yeah. I'm like, go, go. But then you cut me off. I was like, whoa, 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 slow down. <laughs> slow down, girlfriend. <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. I'm proud of you for doing what you felt you should do at the time. But we're fine. Everything's fine. I will catch you around the bend. No problem. All right, YouTube, I'm not your parking guru. I think about you all the time. I get your text or I get your, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Props to you. I love everything that you, I love you. I love everything you're doing. I love your trash picking up and I got to go out and do some trash picking up on myself. YouTube, have a fabulous day. Do not be dismayed by all the lovely Pollyanna type flying monkeys that come shaming you for cutting your abuser out of your life. Say, I'm glad you have a nice time with them. I don't. Peace out.